Hey, welcome back guys to Doggy Hair Care. I finally located my Chico. Say hi Chico and my assistant Collins. And what we're gonna do now is uh, groom Chico, give him a haircut. We're gonna give him a puppy cut, which is uh, one length basically all over. That's a puppy cut. And it's gonna be a short one. We're gonna use our number seven blade today. We're gonna use our number 10. I'm thinking about also giving him a mohawk as well. And have some hair coming down his back. Something a little exotic, cause Chico likes to, he likes that type of stuff there. Right, Chico? Okay. <clears throat> so let me begin. First, <clears throat> I need my uh, number 10 blade. Thank you, sir. But before you start, guys, this here is a loop that's very important that you use it to secure your dog. And it goes around the neck. It's like a leash. <clears throat> and you put it around the neck, like so. And you make sure your fingers can fit through it so you don't choke the dog. Okay? And we're going to start with Chico's head. Okay? And we're going to start with a mohawk. And doing the mohawk, we'll do it like this. We'll shave with the number 10 blade. Just like the mohawk. we we'll come down over the ear just a little bit with the 10 blade. take our comb to kind of like part it. We're moving our leash so we get a better cut. Okay. We do the same thing on this side. It's very important that you have control over your pet during this process. Sometimes I think he's human the way he just sits there. Okay. We're gonna proceed on now to our number seven blade to start with moving the hair off the body of the dog. Okay. We're gonna follow this all the way down, like so. It's a seven blade. As you can see, I was cutting the length down off of the dog's body, off of Chico's body. Always cutting with the grain of the hair, never cut against. If you cut against, you'll take off twice the amount of hair off your dog and it'll be nothing but skin. So you always follow the grain when you're cutting a dog's hair and you're grooming or a cat. Having control over your pet as well. Okay. Now earlier I mentioned to you guys about the pin brush and the universal brush, also known as the slicker brush. Right? And I'm gonna show you how you're gonna use that. Your pin brush, you're gonna use it to brush the hair back so that you get a closer, so that you get a closer cut, actually. 
in a nice detail cut so the hair grow back even. So you brush the hair, you brush the hair forward like so. And then you come down and repeat the same process going over the dog where you started off at. Watching out for sensitive areas such as the armpit and the flank. These are very delicate areas. You will also cut your dog because of the way the blades are actually designed. There's a gap in between the blades. So that little gap, you catch that little fatty tissue there inside the flank of the, of the leg and actually cut it. And it happens very so often. So be very, very careful. What you will use in that area will be the number 10 blade. And I'll show you guys how to use a 10 blade in that area as well. So I'm gonna sit down with Chico. He likes when I sit down when I go home. As you can see, he's beginning to look a lot different. But this one blade that we're using is actually making a difference in this dog's coat. But most of all, it's having control over your pet while you're doing it. Sometimes they like to sit down on you. Don't let them, make them stand up. Okay. Thank you, sir. When it's time to do the arms of the dog, be very careful, because they might try to snatch away from you. So I left some hair on top of Chico's head to go with the uh, mohawk. And the reason why I left it is so that it'll come down his back a little style, like so. Cause he looks very handsome like that. You see? I removed the leash again. And I'll come down underneath the ear with the same seven blade. Okay. And I'll do this side. Once that is done, I'll put the leash back on. Because the hair that I have going down his back right here, it's just for style, that's all. When you're doing it yourself, you can do what you wanna do. That's why it's do it yourself. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Underneath here is the sanitary area. Let me have number 10, please. <clears throat> The sanitary area is an area that's located underneath the dog. Right here, this is your sanitary area. As you can see, it gets very hairy. It's very important that you keep that area clean. So with the sanitary area, I use my number 10 blade, because like I told you before, your 10 blade will be used for all sensitive areas, and that's considered a sensitive area, okay? 
You just come up. And on a male dog, you just go above the penis, just a little bit. Not much, like so. And you shave it, make it look nice and clean. And it's very comfortable for the pet as well, okay? Good. That's the sanitary area. Now you have your rectum area, which is right under the tail, okay? With your number 10 blade, you would do the same thing. Because hair actually grows around the rectum area, it's very important that you shave it. Just that area, like so. So what you do is you lift the tail of your dog, and, here, Chico, and you shave it. 